everybody, it's another great day for a workout here on Jessica Smith TV. Today's routine focuses on your upper half. I'm gonna be working with a set of dumbbells, 10 pounds, and a medium resistance band. If you don't have a resistance band, sub in a pair of light dumbbells instead. We're gonna start with a warm up, and we're gonna begin on the floor. Just taking the knees underneath the hips, hands underneath the shoulders, engaging the abs, pulling them in, pressing the shoulders down, just alternate reaching one arm up and then lower down. So I want you to just really feel a nice stretch in the shoulder, just starting to activate from the inside out. Good. Now from here we're just going to bend the elbows, lower the chest and press. So I'm not really going that low, I'm not shifting forward and back, I'm just thinking of going down and straight up. Hugging the elbows in towards the rib cage or the body so you feel the backs of the arms. Let's go back to alternating that arm up and down, just a little bit faster now. See if you can take that nice dynamic stretch right off the bat. Take it all the way up, all the way down. Eyes are looking at the floor, relax your neck. Let's go back to those tricep presses. About eight and push. Seven, keep the abs hugging your spine. Six, five, that's it. Four, three, last two, give me one more. Great job, guys. Okay, so let's carefully, come on up. We're gonna take the band with us. We're gonna start off placing the band firmly underneath our opposite foot. So just be careful with the bands. You really wanna make sure you anchor them good. And we're gonna start off with the toe facing in, or facing out slightly. We're gonna open that opposite arm on a little diagonal. So I'm gonna turn my body into it as I extend the arm. So think of tracing a diagonal line with a little rotation through the abs and I'm gonna resist on the way down. So it's up, two, resist, two. Now if you're working with a band, you know that you can adjust your resistance on your own. If you need less, step a little lower on it. If you need more, step a little higher. Good. That's it, just a couple more. So I want you feeling this behind the shoulder and inside the shoulder. Give me two more. Last one. Now we're really gonna get into that upper back. And I want you to step a little higher on it. Give yourself a little more resistance. Drop low in the legs. We gotta wind up and row. So we're gonna pull and down. So imagine this is like an old fashioned lawnmower. Remember those ones that you had to wind up to start? You're gonna pull that lawnmower cord and row your elbow back. Same thing here, make adjustments if you need more resistance. Step a little higher on it. Pull, drop down, pull, drop down. So use the back of the body, really, really strong. Good, that's it. Nice, just a couple more. We've got one more exercise, then we'll go on the other side. We're gonna hold it down, bend your elbow in, give me a kick back, palm is up. So I bend and extend. Notice my elbow stays in one spot. If you need more resistance, make your adjustments. Keep your neck long and relaxed. Press through the back of the arm. Now really watch that your wrist stays in line with your forearm here. You don't wanna start torquing it by bending it. Press back through that arm. Squeeze, it should be starting to feel hard. Two more. Now, keep your arm extended. Give me a little pulse for eight. Seven, six, five, burn it up. Four, three, two, you got it. Bring it up, let's switch sides. So we're just gonna set it up with the other foot. Again, you make your adjustments as you go. Open and down. So I really feel my abs, especially as I twist back down. So we don't want the band to just lower the arm, right? That was your not to do. You're gonna resist gravity through the core and the shoulder. So think of the upper back as raising the band, the shoulder is lowering it. Inhale, exhale, good. Nice. Building a really nice, strong upper half to help you with all your everyday activities that you do. Because we know you do so much every day. It's not just about looking good in a tank top or a bikini, it's about being strong 
being capable, right? Good, let's do four more here. Three more. Last two, then we're gonna go to the back row. Woo, one more. Really feeling this side. Okay, so step on it higher up if you need more resistance. Take it into that lawnmower row. Come down, pull back. So again, I'm letting my torso twist so I get the core active. Pull back, pull back. Your back hand can be light on your thigh. Keep that spine long. Drop down, pull back. Really strong, good. Work in the waist, as well as the back and biceps. A couple more, then we go to the tricep. Four, three, two, last one. Take it down and hold it, bend your elbow in. Give me your kick back. So elbow stays lifted, palm is up to the ceiling. I need to lighten up just a little, not that much though. And press back. Watch the wrist alignment. Good, wrist stays in line with that forearm, squeezing through the back of your arm. Push it back. Good, good. Hang tight. We're gonna get ready for that straight arm pulse. Almost. Keep the arm straight, ready? Pulse it up, here we go. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two. Nice job, you guys. Okay, set that band. What is that? Band is not a bar. Come over to your heavy dumbbells. Pick them up carefully, please. You don't want to lean forward. You want to use your legs. Pick up anything off the floor. Abs in tight, knees bent. We're going to start off with a curl to an overhead press. Palms are going to face in as you curl. You're going to press away. Rotate the palms away from your head. Bring them back. Do it again slow. Curl. Press away slightly over the head. You can see the weights out of your corner of your eyes. Let's go a little bit quicker. Curl, press, lower, extend. One, two, three, and down. Relax your neck. Good, now these should be heavy, so they should take a lot of effort to do that full range of motion. Knees are soft, abs are supporting your spine. We have four more, let's do this, four. Good. Three. Two more. Last one. Excellent, guys. Okay, we're gonna keep the knees soft, feet hip with them, just turn to the side. You have a deadlift forward. You're gonna roll back as you stand. Inhale. Exhale, use your back. So the back and the biceps work together on this move. Strengthening the muscles along the back side of the body. Knees are just soft. Let your eyes look forward at the floor as you hinge from your hips. Inhale, exhale, pull those weights back by your ribs. Good. Give me one more like that. Great work. Set one dumbbell down carefully back to the shoulders and a little triceps. You're going to take that arm overhead, supporting the elbow, bend it to the side, weight comes in front of that opposite shoulder, extends up. Now, if your weight is really heavy, spot yourself with your fingertips. Down for two, up for two. So we want to hold that elbow right above our shoulder. Remember, Use your spot if you need it. Keep that control. Down for two, up for two. Inhale, exhale. Four more like this, you got this. Four, and press. Three, I know I'm feeling it too. Two more. One more time, come on. Down. And up, awesome, take a sec. Set it up on the other side. Oh boy, this is my weaker arm, let's see how this goes. And press, down, and press, good. Modification option, 
Give yourself a little support if you need to. Good. Keep that elbow right above that shoulder. And press, good. Down and up. So clear your head. Make sure you're not gonna smack yourself in the head with that dumbbell. Oh yeah, come on. Stay strong. And press. Almost. Last four, I think I need a spot. Four. And press. Three. And press, give me two more. Come on, you can do this. One more. Excellent. Okay, let's go get that second heavy dumbbell. We're gonna do one more set. Those first two moves, curl and press overhead. Ready, single count. Curl, press, come down and lower. So I got a wide stance. My knees are soft. My abs are tight. We're not swinging the weights. Control with the muscle. Good. Yes, good job. And in, press. Make sure you can see them out of the corner of your eyes as you go overhead. That's it. In and up. Almost there. Give me four more here. Four. Last three. Two more. One more. Here it is. Excellent. Let's go to that hinge forward, down for two. Row up for two and pull through the back. So switching the focus to the floor and then straight ahead. Inhale and exhale, pull it back. Good. That's it. Down and up. You got it. Reach. Flat back to pull. Final four, let's finish it. Four, and squeeze. Three, pulling it back, two more. One more time. Great work, guys. Let's squat those weights to the floor. We're gonna come back to our band. Almost there, we got one more set here. So we're gonna use the band and the abs. So what I want you to do here Depending on the thickness of your band, you can hold it like this, or you might even be able to double it up. So kind of try the move first. You'll be able to tell me after this. All your arms are gonna do is widen the band and release it. So my elbows are staying extended, but not locked. You're gonna pull with your upper back. We're gonna add the abs with a little twist from side to side. So as you open the band, turn through the ribs. Another option, you can hang with this or lift your opposite knee. If that's too many layers right now, just stick with the basics. Good. So a little balance work, obliques, upper back and shoulders. Good. Five, four, Three, two, give me one more. Beautiful, all right, we're gonna step on the band. I want you to take it behind your head. You're kind of in a little lunge position. Grab one end with both hands, bending the front knee, dropping your chin to your chest. We're gonna extend out and up. So if you need more resistance, choke up a little higher on that band, or step up higher on it. I'm just gonna try choking up on it a little bit more. With the hands. Good. Now we're gonna take it down, pulse it for three, two, one, and reach. Three, two, one, and reach. So you wanna make a diagonal from your back heel out through the hands. Four more. Three. Two more here. Last one, then we got eight single counts, I know. Come on, work those triceps. Eight singles, eight, seven, elbows in tight, six, five, 
four, three, two, last one. Great job. Now just go ahead and lower the band. Keep the back foot on it. Step over and back. We're gonna face forward. Grab the band with the same hand. I need to step a little higher on it now. So again, still in the obliques, working the shoulders and the abs together. Come out and in, out and in. So resist coming up. Feel a nice side crunch happen as that elbow bends. Other arm can be reaching to the floor, still has energy in it. Up and over, pull down. Good. So set the resistance high enough that you feel that contraction on the way back and you're working hard to push up and over, yes? Good, give me four more here. Four, three, two, last one. Beautiful, guys. All right, before we move on, we're gonna change the arm just a little bit. I want you to grab a hold of it with your opposite arm. Now we're gonna work the front of the shoulder. Lift up and down, up and down. So it's different than last time. Your palm faces the floor. You're gonna go right in line with the shoulder. Feeling that right there. Squeeze, good. Abs in tight, this is still for the core. Good, make sure you're not leaning back as you lift up. If you need to lighten your resistance, go for it. Good, that's it. Now just hold it, static contraction. Eight, seven, six, oh yeah. Come on, four, three, two, relax. Okay, so let's rewind. We're gonna set all that up on the other side. So, switching the foot that's on the band, you're lunging forward with your opposite leg. You're gonna grab the band with both hands behind the head, choking up as high as you need to. Bend and extend back to the triceps. Good. Elbows hug the head. Squeeze. So drop your chin to your chest. Lean a little more forward if you want. Make sure that that band isn't getting stuck in your hair. That does not feel good. <laughs> Reach it out. Triple pulses. Three, two, one, and up. I know you were hoping we weren't gonna repeat this, but sorry. We are. Down, two, three, and extend. Good. Four more like that. Reach out and up. Come on, three. Two more here, then we got those eight singles to finish. Last one. Eight singles, dig deep, let's do it. Eight, seven, six, five, keep a long line through your spine. Come on, four, three, two, one more. Release the arms, step back, setting up that reach and press on the other side. Ready, shoulders and abs. Here we go, up and over. I didn't step high enough, you keep going. So we're here and here. That's it, so adjust it. Take the time to make it really work. Out and over. You'll know when you feel it, right? Sometimes we just have to tweak things, whether it's with the amount of resistance, with our food, with our movement. Tiny little changes make all the difference in the world. Let's do four more like that. Four, three, two, last one. Beautiful, taking it across with our opposite arm, lining up with the shoulder, abs tight. So the hips are square and shoulders are square to the front here. There's no rotation on this one. Palm is to the floor, your wrist is flat in line with your forearm. Don't break the wrist like this. Don't stress it out. Strengthen it, good. Lift it across. Just a few more, then we have that eight count hold, and then we are going to stretch, because you're almost done. Doesn't that feel good? Yeah, okay. Ready, hold it, here we go. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, oh my goodness, relax. Whew. You did it, shake it out. Good job. All right, let's take a little stretch. So you're gonna hug one arm across your chest, drop the shoulder. 
Round forward, get into your upper back. So I want you to feel that stretch from in between the shoulder blades. You can kind of rotate away. Take that same elbow and bend it into your head. Drop your chin to your chest, lean away from it. Open the triceps, open up the side body. Good. Shake it out, other side. Reach round and really pull that arm away. Reaching away from the body as long as you can. You can round forward with that upper back. Stretch everything out. Oh, Peanut, you're so bored back there. Okay, bend your elbow in. Drop your chin to your chest. Stretch away. And release it. Take one more for the back. Hands together, roll your shoulders back. Press your pelvis forward, extend. And as you come up, just raise your arms as high as you can without rounding forward. Open across the chest and the shoulders. Good, relax. Inhale your palms together. Press them together and we're gonna stretch, keeping the heels of the hands touching. Just take a little stretch for the forearms and the wrists. Good. You are officially armed and dangerous now. Thank you guys so much for working so hard with me today. I look forward to sweating with you again very soon. And please be sure to leave me a comment below and let me know what kind of workouts you want to see here on our channel. We'll make them just for you. Thanks guys, have a great day.